All right, so we're starting this video with a little post commentary. Not that it really matters, but uh, I got a couple things to talk about here. And the thing to talk about is the fact that I'm doing this quest and another one after it. Now, I've been doing quite a bit of thinking, and I am not really sure if I want to be recording all of the quests. Um, now, I understand that the quests are a really, really big, important part of the game, but they're also very, very time-consuming, especially for videos. I mean, even though I am speeding them up, like, to quite an extent, it's still just, like, it's still, like, almost half the video for, like, two or three quests. I mean, these two quests bring me to about 25 minutes even, and that's like, I mean, that's not a problem because I'm doing like one hour episodes, but still, it's just like, that's a little too much time for just nope. two quests. Like, you do get some stuff done, and especially if you get like a good reward, like experience, you get a couple levels, it's like, oh cool, that was definitely worth it, but for some quests, it's just not. So what I think I'm going to be doing is a little later in this video, I show a couple screenshots of me just completing the quest, like the quest complete screen, you know, like where you see the little old-fashioned scroll up, and it's like, oh, congratulations, you get this. So yeah, I, I've done a couple of those. I've done my fair share of quests off-screen, and just let me know what you think. If you guys want to see the quests, <laughs> I will definitely show them off. But for right now, I'm just thinking that I will be showing a couple... A couple either a couple or just the important quests and I'm sorry if you can hear some like weird weird noise in the background I don't know what was happening necessarily but uh yeah well we're only at one minute and I feel like I've been talking forever already holy shit yeah this part's really annoying I kept getting hurt by these stupid fucking things and it's really tedious I didn't think it was supposed to like be this hard but this quest uh dwarfs cannon actually <laughs> the reward that you can receive for it if you have the money is excellent and it's very good for training range because well actually you know what the door the dwarf quest guy I'll tell you in a minute but as you know quests there's a lot of back and forth so get ready to be moving on over oh god so graphic the remains of a dwarf but uh yeah how are you guys doing today I don't think I've asked that in this video yet. I really hope I haven't at least. And if I did, or if I did, my live commentary self would sound stupid because the post commentary is going first. <laughs> but enough about that. I feel like I should be talking about something else. What's been going on in my life? Well, I'm looking for a new job. That's really not that fun. Oh yeah, the fishing guild. I can go there now. I've actually gone there a couple times. That's like the best place to fish because the bank is so close. So, highly recommend. You need, you need 68 fishing to get in there. So, it's, it's kind of a high requirement. I mean, it's not too high, but it's uh, it'll it'll take a while to get to 68. And once you're there, it's kind of nice. It'll take even longer to get to 76, which is my goal now. But, enough about that. I was also reading a guide while I was doing this. So, if I'm, if I'm ever pausing for like an extended period of time, that's the reason, because I'm just... Ah, oh, chicken's in the crate, that's, uh, normal. I'm steal some feathers for myself. Not bad. So yeah, if I'm ever paused, it's just because I'm, like, reading the guide, trying to find out what to do next. I also remember taking... Or thinking, I remember taking uh, quite a bit of damage from these goblins at some point. I don't know if it was quite a bit of damage, but I just remember getting hit a lot. It was annoying. There's an air talisman on the ground, why didn't I pick it up? I don't fucking need it, I guess. <sighs> Searching crates has never been more fun. I don't know about you, but I wish that was my occupation. So you find this random dwarf called Lulik in the in the crate because he's hiding from the goblins. And I think the guide said to kill a goblin and then check the crates again because then he will go to like the camp where the head dwarf was where we started the quest. But I think that was just bullshit because he was back there anyway. So I just wasted a wee bit of time out of run energy, of course, because why would we have any run energy? I really need to train my agility. I was thinking about that. I was talking to my friend Carl. <laughs> Carl! Carl! About it. And I was trying to find out where the exit was because I couldn't find it. But it's that mud pile. It looks like a pile of rocks, not mud. So, um, yeah, I really need to train my fucking agility. Because... I know I've mentioned this, but like the higher agility level you have, the slower your run energy depletes, and that's just that's that's pretty nice, especially where there's no rest option in this game. 
because the rest would like restore your run by five times the amount it would. Putting you on the spot, and the thing he says, he, I, I thought he said it was like, pretty funny. <laughs> there it is. But anyway, I think we need to go take this. Oh no, we need to fix the uh, the cannon here. Not too hard. You just gotta select the tool for what you want to do. Uh, that. It's just jerking the jerking a little bit. And then you go for that, and there you go, it works! Is that quest complete? I don't think it is. No, I, I see in my, uh, in the Camtasia thing, I see a little cut mark. I see several, actually, so. Yippee. Yippee! Yippee! So I don't really remember what we're doing now. I think we need to run back to Camelot. Or not, nah, maybe, I don't even know. See, I just don't remember. That, that's the problem with post-commentary, is, like, I can't remember what exactly I was doing, or, like, what good commentary to come up with. Because, I don't know, it's just, like, to me, post-commentary doesn't really fly. Like, in, in my case. I mean, if you can, if you can do it and make it, you know, good, then by all means, go ahead and do it. But just, it's like, it's something that I just cannot, I don't want to say wrap my mind around, but it's just something that, it's, it's hard, it's hard for me, because, like, I can't, I'm not good. I'm not good at post commentary. Like I'm, I'm not saying like I'm great at fucking live commentary either. Here's the uh, Obsidian Cape, by the way, and what it does is it gives a nine defense bonus to everything. I show that off later in the video too. But you know what? Whatever. Who gives a shit? But yeah. Like I live commentary, I'm not the best at either. But it's like I, I don't know. I'm, I'm better with coming up with things. Oh yeah. Here's how to get a another uh, party hat cracker thing. You need a bucket of water, four red berries, and five apples. I also tell my friend Carl, like, I got, I got him supplies too, and I, uh, told him to come back down to fucking Falador. Or, well, I actually do this part of the quest first, because he was, he was doing something, I think. Yeah, he said he's, uh, he, he was training agility at the, at the time, and he wanted to get it to 25 before he came back down and I can understand that cuz walking back and forth cuz he's pretty low level magic so he he doesn't really have the means of teleportation like I do so here we go talking to some mustachio bearded dwarf and we need to bring that back to fuckface fuckface the cannoneer but first I'm gonna get uh, Carl that uh, party hat cracker and it happens black screen attack <laughs> That's right, and uh, I wanted to get him the cracker too, because you need to pop it on someone, and I figured you might as well fucking do it on someone that you can trust. Because if, like, the other person gets your party hat, it's like, well, you can't be like, trade me back, trade me back, because they're not going to do it. That's their fucking party hat. Party hats cost money now, and I actually get something that's, um, decently nice. Ender, Ender, no, stop, stop, I need to stop singing, I've been singing like a little too much, so I was just waiting here, I think it was like, it wasn't for too long, but it was, I was, I was, I was contemplating cutting it out, but then I, I really just did not, did not want to cut out any more shit, so, it, yeah, yeah, yes it does, why am I so tired, I need to sit up, hold on, I need to sit up straight, there we go, sorry for hitting the lap at top, but fairly soon, Carl should be, uh, coming back from his little escapades and the agility training. Soon we shall see a green dot coming around that bend. Oh, sorry, I had to take a sip of water. Just talking really gets my voice parched. Yeah, also, these ingredients, you see that person saying selling kits 30k each? Um, <laughs> these ingredients all together are probably worth around not even 1k. I'd say maybe like 500 GP you can get these things for. Well, actually, I got them all for free because I went out and scavenged for them. But there were a lot of people camping them trying to get it. So, sure. yeah, but I mean, like, you can make such good profit from fucking these things. Like a 30k profit for fucking five apples, four red berries, and one bucket of water. That is insane. But, guess, Carl, just, you better get your ass here soon, because I'm not having this. I think I went out to, like, go search for him. And I give up. <laughs> and come back. And then I think once I come back here, he comes around and goes to the bank because he needs to get some shit out. Yeah, it's, like, right about here is when he comes. Super energy. 
destroy you. Run. Uh, I'm tired. Boy, I really don't know what to commentate on now. Okay, so here we're going to finally pick back up. So Carl's going to go bank, and I'm just going to wait here to trade him, because I already got my cracker. You can only get one per daily event. By the way, it, it's been long over now. It's been over for, like, almost a week. And, um, yeah, here we go. I'll give this to him. He gives me that Serotim and Robe top, which is very nice. It's a magical top, which gives prayer bonus, too. So he's talking to her, and we get some... We actually get some pretty good, uh... I wanted to check out the stats on it. Like, they're not great, but, I mean, that prayer bonus is nice. So... We both get some decent party hats here. Like, he gets mine, and I get his. I kind of got the better end of the deal, because what he gives me is the most expensive party hat in the game, and I give him, like, a, a medium-level party hat. So, I think he got yellow. I can't really see, because I didn't want to scroll down. And, uh, yeah, got purple, he got yellow. I gave him a blue party hat, and uh, he also got a green one, I think, too from another Christmas Cracker event, but that's about it for this. Um, I'm gonna go finish this Dwarf Quest, and I'm also gonna show you how to get to the area, I think, but I'm also gonna... I have some stuff for Carl that I probably should have cut out, in all honesty, but I wanted to give him because, you know, he, he's pretty much like... He's not, he's kind of supporting my account, in a, in, a, in a sense. So, get some more stuff and trade it to him. Give him that, and then we're on our way to freedom. Break that Kimmy tab. Oh, at the time, I didn't have 45 magic to use the uh, Camelot teleport, so... Yep, checking the quest guide right there. Oh yeah, he looked up the price of the robe top, and um, it's, it's over 100k. And the reason for that is because of the prayer bonus it gives. Anything that gives, like, a boost in prayer... Because it's so, it's so fucking good. It, um, um, it, yeah, it's like, it's very expensive. Like, that ne that necklace is 15k that I was, that I just said. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's uh, not good. It's uh, not good. It's uh, not very good. He's uh, marinating in his own ragu. <laughs> I think that was from Robot Chicken. But I still got, like, another 10 minutes to fucking commentate, and I don't know how I'm gonna do that. This is just, I don't know how people can do, like, full videos of post commentary like that is, i just i cannot i need to be like focusing on the game to talk about some shit because it this is it's not it's not working for me this is that's another reason why i wanted to stop doing the quests because like i just i can't post commentate that well like i know it's very subpar wait should i have just said subpar instead of very subpar i think i should have but whatever i just i don't know i don't i don't do it well that's i don't know that's what i think at least I mean, I know everyone's, like, a very hard critic on themselves, but it's, like, I just, I don't think it's that great. So, we talk to this guy, and I believe we get the quest complete right here. Yeah, I pretty much took screenshots of that thing right there. And with that, we can actually buy a cannon. Yeah. Cannons are insanely good because they can hit upwards of 35 damage on enemies. And, uh, they just keep shooting out cannonballs. <gasps> Hello, Loretta! What are you doing? You laying down on my clothes? Yeah, cause you're a little fucker getting them full of hair. Oh, you're so cute though. I have to forgive you. So this quest isn't too hard, but there is uh, a very high chance of death. So... <laughs> I wanna find treasure cause my name is Hudan. Right? Hudan? Yeah, Hudan. My fucking name is Hudan. That's like Hidan from Shippuden. Uh, I don't even know if I wanna finish Shippuden. Cause I hear like... Naruto just becomes, like, the savior of the fucking day in every fight. And that's just, like, I don't know. To me, that's so anticlimactic. It's just, like, you know, I really want to see other people fight. Not some fucking cloaked sage loser kid. And he's not really a loser anymore because he's so powerful. But whatever. Enough talking about anime. But enough talk. How about you? Oh, my God. So, I've mentioned this before. But I figured out my new let's my new let's play, and I, oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I played. Now I haven't played this since it came out. I think it was in 2004, maybe 2005 or six. But was the DS even out in 2004? I think it might have been 2006. I don't remember. You'll see it when the video comes out. But 
Oh my god, I played the intro, and I cannot wait to get into the main part of this game. It's just like, it's so stupidly funny, and I, I've mentioned this before, I no, I don't think I have mentioned it before, like what kind of game it is, but I will let you know that it's a dating game, and oh my god, I am so fucking ready to play this. It's like, it, it's, it's gonna be funny. I, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's gonna be funny, I know that much. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Like, it's it's a crap game. Excuse me. But it's it'll be funny. At least I'm hoping it will be. It will definitely be better than Meteos. Because, I mean, although that game... It, it It is fun. It's a good game. Don't get me wrong. I've just been getting, like, really pissed off at it. Because, to this day, I've still tried to go back and get those things done. And I've gotten kind of far, but I just... I keep failing, and I cannot get to the top... The top, uh, Planet Meteo. So, I'm... I'm done with that let's play I'm I think it's gonna be incomplete for either a while or maybe even forever I really don't know it, it, now's not the time for it it's just it cannot be done and I'm like I'm not doing it justice because I'm sucking so fucking hard and here's the part where you need to bank all of your items because you need to go into this place where you have absolutely nothing on you except for some food you can bring food but you just can't bring armor because it's a holy ground God forbid Charge up my prayer again, because I, I realize that you run out of prayer way too fucking fast in this game. So, run into the bank. This is Ardoon, by the way. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that, or if we've ever come here, but this is, uh... I abbreviate it to Ardy, because no one likes saying Ardoon. It's spelled like Ardugni, but it's, it's Ardy. It's fucking Ardy. But bank all your shit, but ba ba bank it all. Bank it all again. And I think I take out ooh, some super energies. Okay, I guess that was a, a smart move, because run in this game is so, so necessary to get to where you need to going. Get to where you need to go. That's what I meant to say. And uh, I didn't realize that there were some iron rocks over there, but that's not a very good place to mine, because it's pretty far from the bank. Alright, what are we doing now? Oh... I rem oh yeah, this part, this part sucks because you need to go through a maze, and that's a tortoise, level 92. Weird, weird monster. So this, uh, this is the gnome, I think this is the gnome stronghold. Because there's the tree gnome village with which we've been to before, and I think this is the gnome stronghold. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. So this is just, this is essentially just a big hedge maze with the gnome king in the center that you need to talk to, I'm fairly certain. Or actually, no, no, you need to go, you need to find some, that little, that little exclamation mark, that's like, that's a manhole, or it's just some other fucking place you can crawl down. It's essentially like a dungeon cave. And you crawl down there, and you have to find some things, but an easy way to get out of the cave is to start a new quest, so you get a quick exit, which, which is nice, it's, it's very, it's very helpful. Also, there's a little tactic that I do up and coming that's very... It's not necessary, but in case you ever lose an item that you need... You know what, hold on, just give me a fucking minute here. So you got to talk to Golri, and he gives you a pebble. And what you can do to get multiple is drop it and talk to him again. And he will give you another one. And I do this... Uh, well, I think this is the last time that I do it. Because I want the pebble. And I open the door. Do -do 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 -do. I think I was looking at the, uh, the quest guide here, because I was, you know, standing still. Stop yawning! Fuck! God damn it! Drink up that super energy, because I need my run. And yeah, I'm going to start this other quest. I think it's Tree Gnome Stronghold. Squeeze through the fence. Shimmy on in, talk to the king. Do all you gotta do. And I think when you start this, I think he's like, Talk to my servant, Elkoi, and he shall get you out of the maze. At least I think that's what he just... The gnomes look fucking weird. Just their faces look strange. They look like... I don't want to say little people, because that's kind of fucked up, but... They do. They look... They look weird. So, yeah. Ah! Wake up! Elkoi, he escorts you out of the maze. Yeah, quick escape, because I'm so cool, and I think I'm funny sometimes, but I'm really not. So we're going on in, going on in. My god, I've been doing so much of this one mini game, and it's driving me nuts. It's literally driving me nuts, guys. I don't know how much longer I can do it. 
I still need to play like 300 plus games of it. That is, if my team wins all 300 times. But, it's for some very, very, uh, good armor. That's what you can get. Take what you can get. Call it when you're ready. I gotta stop. I gotta stop with the references before I yawn again. I can feel it coming. Uh, uh. Sometimes when I really don't want to yawn, I try and like keep my mouth closed while I'm yawning. And it doesn't, I wouldn't say it necessarily helps, but it, it'll shorten the length of the yawn. So here's a good place that we can go in and bank. I don't know if I necessarily had to or not, but I think I want to, yeah, 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 I didn't, because I didn't have to, or I felt like I didn't have to, but I probably should have in the long run. Because now we're going into the, the tomb, the holy tomb place ground. Here lies Glario, wife of Backstorian, true friend of nature and life and death. May she now rest, knowing only visitors with peaceful intent can enter. You place the pebble in the- oh yeah, that's not a thing. It fits perfectly. So we're in this place. Now this place is a death trap for early levels, like level 3s. But some people still, like, really want to do it because it gives- It'll give, like, enough experience to get to level 30 attack and strength, I want to say. So it's very, it's like, it's a very good uh, tactic to use early on. But, as you saw, that moss giant just hit hit me for 9 damage, which is almost all your health when you're level 3. So a tactic would be to make a zombie go aggressive on you and hit you, so the moss giant cannot. He also gets a really huge hit coming up later on, too. So I'm, I'm trying to drop the pendants to get more. In case I lose him, so I don't have to come back in here. He hits a fucking 13! I was like, <gasps> whoa, whoa, I was like resting at 6. I'm like, more biscuit risking. <laughs> so, my cat's playing with a, uh, a plastic bag right now. That's like her favorite toy for the moment. She's a weirdo. Looking at the quest guide again. We're almost done. We're like, we're, we're getting pretty close here. But we need this amulet to uh, get to this certain location. And if you lose the amulet, you need another pebble to get back into the grave. So that's why I dropped the pebble, and that's why I did the amulet dropping method too, because it's just like, I, you, I don't want, I don't want to have to go back and fucking find that guy to give him the goddamn, or talk to him again to get the fucking pebble. So that's that. Um, I don't know why I'm taking out air runes. Oh, oh, because you need them for the quest. And right here I was like panic buying an earth rune because I really needed, you need six, six airs, six earths, and six water runes. And I only had five, and I was like, well, that's just my luck. But thankfully, Kitchen Cook has an earth rune for me. Of course, for one fucking thousand gold. But that's what happens when you're in need of something. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. Here we go. And we're off. I think. Maybe? No? Maybe? Oh, I think I'm getting out some armor here, because I really just didn't want to get decimated by these giants. That will be finding. <laughs> that will be finding in this place. Grab some food because I figured I'd need it. Oh, also I forgot. Uh, you actually, you know, you'll you'll see in a minute. It really scared me when I was doing like the quest because. Well, actually, you'll see. I got. I got to. I. I feel like you see for post commentary. I feel like I'm. I just get ahead of myself and I try and tell things that are like about to happen. But I you, like you're you're not you're not supposed to do that. Can you get the fuck out of here, OSX update? I really don't care for you. Yeah, I'm saying the rope top is from a clue scroll, but I already mentioned that. As you're well aware. So we need to go back to that little raft where we crashed to go to that waterfall area with the barrel. Cause that's that's where the uh, cave is, hence the name Waterfall Quest. So we're coming over here. Passing bitch face whose son has yet to return. I think he is still over there, though. Like he's not dead or gone yet. There's, oh my god, what the fuck? There's a little Houdon. So you grapple that rock like a fucking pro. And with the amulet on, you need the amulet on, you can examine that hole and come in. And without the amulet, you will actually just fall downstream. And these fucking spiders. Yeah, you see right there, I'm like, holy shit, I forgot to eat up. And when he hit me for a two and I was that low, I was like, <gasps> what? But, um, those spiders, if they hit you, even if they hit a zero, they will drain half of your prayer. Half of whatever you have at the moment. So, like, I have 44, 
So first would be 22, and then 11, and then I think it goes down to 6. And that's a really big piss-off, because that's it's just fucking annoying. And I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to die there. I see the spider drains your prayer, and it was a big fucking angry thing. So those uh, fire giants are common slayer tasks, and this is one of the best places to train on them. So this is another reason the waterfall quest is very good to do early on, because it opens up this whole thing. Plus, for the experience gain that you get for finishing the quest, oh, it's bomb. And I think you need to put the runes in these little pillars in a certain order, so that's why I kind of organized them. Earth, water, or er, air, water, earth. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, and another reason I got more... See, there I go, getting ahead of myself again, because I'm not even done with this part. Fucking just be patient, Pablo. Patience is something Pablo does not pertain to have. But anyway... Uh, what you need to do is actually use Glarial's Amulet on the Statue of Glarial. So there's one gone already, which is pretty suck fuck, I'm not gonna lie. And then you use her ashes on there, and look at- oh, 13 experience, not 30. But still, that's like enough to get you to level 30 something, I think. And with these mithril seeds, you can plant flowers, but it's essentially useless. And the flowers give such beast stats, such beast stats, look at that. Just fucking look at that. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for these quests, so I'm gonna take care and see you in some live commentary! Please stop right now, stop, stop! Oh, we're recording? Oh, hey guys, um, well, we're back- oh, fucking hell, that always seems so loud to me, but I know it's not. Alright, so I gotta keep it down, because I think my mother is trying to sleep, or get some sleep. But anyway, here's a bank summary. Uh, some things have been drastically changed, as you can see. Now, if you remember my friend's account, Carl DeVoe, high school teacher, long story. Anyway, uh, they went to a drop party, and they got some pretty decent shit, I'm not gonna lie. They found around 3,000 lobsters, which I have on me, that's gonna help with the cooking a lot. I'll go to my skills in just a second, I also have more unstrung maple longbows and some bow strings. Now scrolling down a bit, I bought 1,000 nature runes, you'll see why in just a minute. That cost 210k, alright? Now I have some screenshots, by the way, and I might be adding them somewhere around here. or something, but I don't know. I don't know if you guys like that whole screenshot method. Uh, my friends, I'm just gonna call him Carl. Carl gave me, uh, 89 steel bars. You know, I got my, I smith more knives. I have 1,144 maple longbows, which is what I'm gonna be alking. And if we scroll down a bit more, the subsidian cape I received as a drop. It's a fairly rare drop from these monsters that I'm gonna show you a little later in this video. Got my double party hat because I'm so fucking cool. I, I looted these sharks from this guy who died at the fishing guild, and I've never been happier in my life. Now, this Serotonin robe top, my friend, Carl, <laughs> got that from a clue scroll. And, uh, I actually missed something up here before I get a little ahead of myself. He also received these black dehyde chaps, 
and these super energies, which actually restore your run. Cool. I know. Very fucking helpful. And, um, what else did I get? He's going down here. Oh yeah, he got this from a clue scroll, and since he couldn't wield it, he gave it to me. And now I did a clue scroll of my own off-screen. And be prepared to shit yourself. I took a screenshot of it, and I'm gonna put it up in a second. But, oh, he also got these, uh, split bar gauntlets, which I have now. Okay, so, from the clue scroll, I got this Willow Comp Bow, 7k. Studded Chain Body, no clue. Around 2k for this Black Full Helm. And for the Zamorak Page 4, get ready. 650k! How fucking cool is that? I've never gotten a rare item like that from a clue scroll, ever, in my history of playing RuneScape. Oh my god, it's Carl. 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 Carl, wait. I hope this is him. I'm gonna look like an idiot if it's nine. We're in the same world, right? Where's that Miss Possum? I'm making a video right now. Lol. So where are you going? Gotta be politically correct. I don't know what I mean by politically correct. Where is he going? I actually wanna know. Tell me, Carl. Good luck. Alright, so... So with that, we're gonna head over to... Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! I'm actually gonna be alking my way to where I'm gonna be going to show you about that obsidian cape. No, 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 no. I might have shown it off in a previous video. I'm just gonna talk a little bit louder over that part because it's so loud and it just stopped being loud. Um, okay, okay, what was I doing? I was getting out my nature runes. I'm gonna get out. Where the fuck did they go? They're somewhere. I know they're somewhere. They have to be somewhere. I bought them. They're somewhere. Please tell me I didn't drop them. Um, is this a joke? Uh, what the fuck? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Am I overlooking this? Where did they go? Alright, stop. Go up, stop. Go up, stop. Go up, stop. Where the fuck? Okay, hold on. This isn't funny anymore. This isn't funny anymore. Where are my nature runes? Alright, look for a thousand. Look for a thousand. It's an even number! How can I miss this? Did I pick them up and... What the fuck? What the fuck? What's happening right now? Don't talk to me, banker. Alright, I'm freaking out right now. Is that- oh my god, there they are. Holy shit. How did I not see those? Um, I'm gonna get out just 100. Trust me, it's gonna be- <laughs> Alking takes a while. So, I, like I said, I bought these for 210k on the dot. I'm gonna bring out 100 of these. And I'm just gonna show you how much they alchemize for. Now, there's a difference between alking. There's a low-level alchemy and a high-level alchemy. As you can tell, high-level alchemy- <clears throat> Excuse me is the better of the two, because it gives more, but I don't have level 55 magic, I have 46. Now, my skills. I grind it up, um, I wanted 40 strength and 40 defense, we can now equip, come on, rune armor, which is pretty much the second best armor in the game, it says granite, but granite is crap. It pretty much just go from rune to dragon. And, um, I got my strength up like I, what are you doing? Got my strength up like I said, magic, prayer you know about. But here's the big ones, 70 fishing, 73 cooking. Now, I did some things where I've been trading raw or cooked lobsters back for raw, so I'm essentially not gaining or losing any money. I'm just getting cooking experience, and I think that's what I'm going to do to level 99. That's going to be my first level 99, and um, I'm thinking it's going to be good. Why are you still doing this? I have a little uh, notepad right here that actually shows my RuneScape log. I traded 1,035 cooked for 1035 raw and then again I did a 1000 cooked for 1000 raw so total in total that's a 2035 not bad I mean it's essentially free cooking experience I'm just gonna drop that down Woo, I love I love how the MacBook does that I've wasted enough time here by the way so I'm gonna show you this low level elk see how much money we get 256 I am making 46 GP per elk that my friends is what I call money making. And I really like it. But anyway, like I promised, we're actually going somewhere right now. We're going to Karamja. And uh, Karamja is a great place because it's where I got that obsidian cape, which I need to show you something about. And um, I'm just going to kind of alk on my way there. 
and I'm also going to alk a little bit, uh, you know, here and there. So we've already made 2,304. Just alk and run. I call this the no EXP waste. So how are you guys doing today? Um, I really hope I don't bring that back up in my post commentary because I'm an idiot and I will forget. But you know, oh fuck me, dun 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 dun. dun, dun. You get to hear the music though. Oh piss. You gotta be on the gold if you want it in this spot. All right, so we need to go. How much do we have? 4K, not bad. Um, I'll go to this guy. Can you please pay fair? There we go. Just get me across the sea. I hate this game because it asks you 500 million fucking times. All right. So, yeah, I'm gonna be elking all. Well, not all, but 1,000, like all those nature runes, and I should be making 46k. A profit. That's fucking awesome. I'm like, I'm totally for that. Plus, you're getting magic experience. How much? Let's find out. 29? 29 goes to... 60. That's essentially 30 experience, right? 31, even. 31 experience. I'm not alking. I'm not elk walking. Fuck is wrong with me. You're not elk walking, you idiot. By the way, this is the, um... This is gonna be going back towards the place where I got the party hat that in that one previous video, I think, at the end. Yeah, so, um, that's good shit. You get to show, or I get to show where this is. The island we're on right, on right now is called Karamja. Karamja is fucking awesome. Me gusta Karamja. Alright, so there's this little cave over here. You walk in. No, oh, no, cave's down here, dumbass. And this is really weird looking place, but look at this. This monster is level 149. But the great thing about this is there are many a safe spots. So I think that's just about enough alking for this video. So what I'm going to do is put these in the bank. You know, the money that I have in the law... I call them law runes, wow. Nature runes and the maple longbows. Oh, high alking these gives you around like 365 GP instead of like 246. So that's that's worth noting. So high level alchemy is ultimately better and would give me more profit because it's the same rune castage. But I'm not really caring about that. So I'm gonna show off the obsidian cape. Really wish I could wear these, but I need 70 range. That's pretty steep. I'm bringing some mistake food in case I fuck up, and I'm also gonna need. I think I just equipped a maple short bow. Should have the studded body on, right? Maple? No, no. I need me maple. Come back here, banker. I'm probably going to speed up this fight because it will take a long fucking time, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so equip this. And I'm going to unequip that, this, and Dubadaba. So we should have a... What's giving me that? Oh, the boots, right. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed this off already, but it's a 9, a plus 9 defense bonus to everything. This is one of the best capes in the game. And I'm going to show off these split bark gauntlets. Decent defense, but it gives you plus two magic, which is the only real reason anyone would ever use this shitty thing. And um, I'm gonna equip these that do the dab diva for beef caked out. Not really, because our range is only plus 44. But I'm gonna turn this down again, and I am so fucking sorry that you have to see that every time. But you know what? It's all good because you you, you love me, right? You don't. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm gonna attack him and run right back behind here. Please, please make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Make it. All right, he should get trapped right behind this sulfur vent, and we're good to go. So I'm just going to wait here and kind of talk about things for a little bit. Um, mostly about my trek to 99. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm just going to be doing the, uh, the swap method of trading lobsters for, um, you know, cooked lobsters for raw, which is going to take a long time, I know, but it's, cooking is very fast. As you can see, I already got it to fucking level 73. Fishing is at level 70, and at level 76, you can fish a new, a new, uh, I don't want to say fish because I just said fish at least 70 times in that sentence, but we can fish a new fish. I said it. There we go. There we go. I said it. It's over. It's done with you fish a new fish, and uh, I'm not going to tell you what that is. You're going to have to wait and see. Now, I train my defense, strength, and magic all at rock crabs. If you remember, please don't steal my kill. He's going to do it. He's, he's going to be an asshole. Oh, maybe not. All right. Props to you. Props to you. Um, I haven't really trained Slayer that much. No, 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 no. I'll be nice. Hi. Nope. Wait. I'll be cape about five days ago. Um, what was I talking about? Rock crabs. This shit. You steal my kill. I'm going to be mad, bro. Not bad. I know. Um, Runecrafting. Carl actually helped me out with that. He was pretty much like, oh, no, no, no! Please don't. Please don't. If you start seeing, like, high hits, you know he's stealing the kill, and I'm gonna be so mad. 
I don't know how to spell convenient. It's cozy. Um, Carl helped me with some room crafting. He, he was essentially, he carried more essence for me, which is awesome. And he's like, well, you bought me the account, so I mean, I guess I should. I'm like, dude, you don't have to, like, whore yourself out for me. But he did, and it helped me get to level 20, which is not bad. I know. I'm just, I'm just kind of bullshitting with this guy right now, because I really don't give a shit. How many fucking arrows do I have? All right, so another thing I'm going to show off is the telekinetic grab. And I'm going to actually grab these iron arrows. How many do we get back? 24. All right, cool. I'm going to attack the Tizuka Medge. I don't even know what these things are. I'm going to grab these arrows, too. I like the sound it makes when you grab them. It's really fucking cool. I'm going to attack again. And I might as well grab these arrows down here. <laughs> That's such a great sound. I love it. Attack, attack, attack. No, 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 don't be that guy, don't be that guy, don't be that guy. Or are you just gonna cook? Oh, cool fact, you can actually cook on these sulfur vents? I know, it's weird, right? But you can actually do it. Look, he's doing it right now, he's doing it right now. Where's she? I don't, I don't judge. Hi. Um. Sorry, I was deep in thought with that one sentence. But, fuck, what was I saying, you asshole? You interrupted me. No, I'm good. Thanks, though. Let's see. I'm recording right now. Now, there we go. So, are we gonna level range? Definitely not, definitely not. I need to do some more mining. Why? For YouTube? Um, I, yeah, I really need to do some more mining. I'm not <laughs> making that quota for the mining guild. I'm sorry, the Johnny Cage. I will get in there. I promise you, man. I promise you. We're just shooting a dude. I know, but it's a let's play. Uh, what was I saying? Johnny Cage, mining guild. Great guy. Go check him out. I got a little more herb lore. Not too much because it's really slow. Guy just said lol and ran off, you fucking asshole. So I'm also really hoping that I can get a drop from this guy. Not gonna happen. I'm also gonna get these arrows and then attack him again. Come on, motherfucker. Get back in the loop. Yeah, we wasted 100 arrows, which is a, kind of a big deal. But this Ava's attractor will sometimes actually make it so you don't waste an arrow. Like, maybe it'll show it soon. But sometimes your arrow count doesn't go down. I'm waiting for it to happen, because it, it has happened many a times before. Please don't... Actually, if he, steals, if he steals the kill now, it will be my drop, because I've dealt the most damage. And that's how things work in RuneScape. In multi-combat, as you can see from this little thing. Oh yeah, Miss Possum, if you don't know who that is, she's a lucky bitch that got my fucking party hat. Whore. I love you, though. No, I'm just I'm just playing. I've also been noticing that I've say, I'm, I'm saying that like a little too much. I'm like, no, I'm just kidding. It's like, well, obviously you're fucking kidding, you dumbass. How about you just stop saying that... Oh, I need to learn to speak better. <laughs> so these guys can hit upwards of 16s on you because they're such a high level, so do not do close range combat unless you're going to protect or melee. I also should have been doing this the whole time to give a plus, what is it, 15% boost to range. Not bad, not bad. You can also flick it, like, you know, like this. Like, turn it on right before you attack, and it still counts. And take it right off. You waste so much less prayer, and trust me, flashing uh, protect melee range and mage is almost essential in some cases to save up on prayer. But, um, that's just about it for this video, guys. I know this wasn't too much to take in, but like I said, I'm gonna be alking a little off-screen, and, um, I'm gonna be getting some money back, so it's gonna be a constant influx of money. I'm really liking this. Got a nice LB cape. Hey, please give me another one. Just please, God, give me another one. These things are 360k. I could really use that. I already told you that the Zamorak page 4 was a, uh, 650k drop, right? I'm also gonna be keeping that, by the way, for something a little later on. Okay, come on. He's got fucking, like, what? 2 HP left? Maybe 3? Hit. Going accurate to hit. 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 Oh my god, I'm gonna flash. No, I'm not. Maybe I will. There we go. Fucking kidding me? He's completely red bar. There we go. And what did we get? We get absolutely nothing. Shit happens, but you know what? That's the video. These guys have a chance of dropping, like, a bunch of stuff. Here, let me try and see if I can... No, that ain't, that ain't working. They can drop, like, weapons and other shit like that, but... It's really not worth it. The cape's like one of the best things to get because, you know, the defense bonus. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in some more quests. <laughs> Fucking fun. See you then. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm at this uh, new mini game because I've... Well, as you'll see in the... um. Can you... Can you... Can you go down a bit? Perfect. All right, we all know that now that this is the best setting. Maybe. Alright, but anyway. Um, why is that one out farther? That doesn't make sense. Is that just me, or is that, like, weird? Are there more settings to these ones than that other one? There are! My goodness! Alright, well, anyway, um... As you're gonna see from the screenshots, which I don't know if you guys like or not, let me know, but I have did some more quests, one of which being Prince Ali's Rescue. Prince Ali, yes it is he, but not as you know him. Alright, stop it with the fucking references. However, this minigame, <laughs> it's very time consuming, especially when you're a lower level in thieving, but as you'll see in a minute, something excellent can come from all these. So let's open the gate and go into Winters. Now, I like to play with the overhead view, because... Well, I'll show you what happens if you get caught by one of these winter elementals. I'll stand right in her path. No, okay, right, no, right in her path. Right, what are you, what are you doing? I'll, okay, right here. 
Whoa! You get teleported out, and you essentially lose out on these squirk fruits. Now, if you examine it, a slightly squirky, I mean quirky fruit, it's like, oh my god, how fucking corny, Jagex. But anyway, what you want to do, there is, they have um, set paths that they go around. It's like a giant maze, and you just can't get caught. It's, it's very, it can be very fun, but it can also be very fucking, oh god, just don't get caught. Alright, we're going right for the tree, go for the tree, go for the tree. There we go, don't get caught. That's the name of the game. By the way, I kind of forgot how close my farming level was. Huh, as you saw, just for like a split second, you get some experience in farming for picking the fruit, which is excellent. Now, you can actually drink the squirk juice, and it will give you some run energy, but don't, don't, no, 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 don't, don't do it. Especially the winter squirks, because they give you such shit, ex uh, not experience, well, they do give you shit experience, but, can we go for it? I'm making it, come on, come on, oh, yeah! Getting pretty lucky here. It sucks when you make it to the end, and it's just like, oh, I'm gonna catch ya, because I'm a glitcher. Sometimes these things will glitch out, and it's like they just catch you when they're totally not supposed to. Alright, so I'm gonna make that run now, because I know I'm not gonna get caught by her. Run over here, keep it going, keep it going, motherfucker. And I'm just going to go right for the tree again, because I can. And there we go. You need five winter squirt juices to make one glass. Pluck! And I, I leveled up farming from picking the second one in this batch. And it pissed me off, because I wanted to get that before I started recording. But it didn't happen. However, as you can see, it went up from like 22 to fucking 27. That's five levels from getting a, like 18. I think these are 18. No, not definitely more than 18. 2, 4, 6, 8, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. 22? Squirk juices? No, there's something else that you can do in this little well, the mini game's called Sorceress's Garden. And, um, go, go for the, go for gold, go for gold, go for gold! And, uh, what you can do is actually come over here, past the tree, the location is different, and pick herbs. You get two, and we get a guam, or guam, and a marantil. I'm actually gonna do that again. I'll drop the marantil. Actually, I'll, I'll keep that. I'm a low level to where any herb, any herb? What am I? British? No. Any herb will, uh, kind of help out in the herb lore process. I seriously almost said Slayer, and I was just... I'm thinking to myself now, I'm like, you would have sounded like a complete fucking idiot. Not like that's any different from any other video, but don't pick the squirk because I don't have enough room. Well, I guess I could. I could, uh... Actually, I might do that. No, it's, I'm already picking herbs right now, so... Yeah, I'll just do this one more time. Alright, a Marantil and a Harlander. I think that's, that's not too bad, but... Alright, and when you want to leave, you can drink from the fountain. There are four seasons, winter, spring, autumn, and fall. Or, er, that autumn and fall are the same thing. Winter, spring, autumn, and summer. Uh, now what you want to do is, oh, well, I want to position my camera a little better. There we go. And while I'm running, I'm just going to let you guys know, my feeding level is 20. And just watch how much this will go up after this one batch. This took, all in all, took about, like, maybe hour and a half to get. So, I mean, it's pretty time-consuming for this one because, you know, like, you need five. But let's talk to Osman. I'd like to talk to you about squirks. I have some squirk juice. Alright, get ready. Get ready for this jump. Handed him over. We gained fucking nine levels! What the hell is this? That's insanity! Thank you very much, Pablo Zalpiz. Alright, so... That is great. And we're level 29. We almost got ten levels from that. That is insanity. But what we can do now is if we go to Other... We can actually take on the spring game, which I very well might show off. You know what, let's do, let's show one spring game. Because I don't remember doing spring that much. I remember doing a lot of autumn. Autumn is very... It's considered the hardest one, but I, it's not... Oh shit, no run. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. That's not good. That's really not good. Alright, so cool fact, number 22... Is that when you come in here, because this is where you have to go for the uh, mini game, you just write, where is she? Oh, she's over here. If you search the shelves, you get a beer glass, which is what you need for the squirks. So, come back here. Teleport with the apprentice, and she should just send me right there. Alright, um, I think this is the one that I want to go to. I think this is spring. I really want to position that camera differently again. Hoo -doo 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 -doo. Alright, I do not remember this one at all, so... 
I think I actually do remember. All right, you want to run in here. There are. I said run. No, no. Get back up there. Get back up there. Get back up there. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. All right. What the fuck is that? I don't even know. Stop talking. All right. So I'm just gonna wait right here. Now I'm gonna go. Cause you walk at the same speed as them, which is uh. Well, it's not good, but it's 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 nice, I guess. All right. Then we're gonna go. No. No. There we go. Really wish I had some run energy here. Where the? Okay. Now I just I need to. Sorry. I need to plan out where I'm gonna go. Right, please don't catch me. That would not make me happy. Alright, let's go right here. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. We're gonna get caught. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's try and actually remember how to do this. Do we have any run? We got 18. That should be enough to get us around the course. Because I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna try and beast mode. Oh, no! No, if she didn't turn around when she did, if she kept going a little bit, we would have had a clean escape. Alright, so let's try this again. Can we go up? Don't catch me. I'm gonna be pissed. Alright, so now we know to wait. We know to wait. And there we go. Make it up in there. I'm trying to see if I can make it up here. No, it's not looking like I can. Unless she comes out and around. No, there's no... No, I need to go in through here. So I need to go... Oh, fuck. This is gonna be hard. I gotta do this four times? Uh, no, I'm just gonna show getting one squirk. I'm serious. I'm not getting four. Especially with my crappy luck. Like, are you kidding me? Alright, so let's go now. Let's go right in here. Up and up and up, up, up. Oh, jeez. <gasps> okay, okay, alright. And then... And then I'm gonna wait, and then I'm gonna come right here, I think, just cause... Alright, good to know where, where she goes. Bam, go. Bam, bam, bam. I'm saying bam. It should be doing something, but it's not. Alright. She comes down there. We can just run to the tree. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> what a clean victory that was. All right, so the Skirks change colors. Isn't that dandy? All right, come on. Let's go right in there. Let's see if she will find me. She probably, this one probably will. Get ready for it. No? Okay, that's the new tactic. Okay, all right, all right. Now, now this, now this makes more sense here. Turn that fucking run energy. I definitely could have made it right there, but I did not want to risk anything. Okay, I could probably go right about now. See ya, bitch. <laughs> all right, let's try that again. Now I'm giving it another chance here. I think we need four for this one. Yeah, I think so. Those are bots, by the way. Just picking the herbs. Do I still have my run on? No, turn it off. I need to save. I need to conserve. Alright, good. Go right about now. Fuck, man. This one's... this. That's definitely a step up. I'll tell you that much. Alright, this one's coming back down now. So I'm gonna wait till this one crosses, and then I'll be like, alright, let's go here. Followed by... We're gonna get caught. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Run! 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 Oh! Wow. Right, let's go now. Let's go now. Come on, come on, come on. Make, 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 make. Well, let's see if we can make it in here while we're walking. That's going to be a challenge and a half. Yeah, that definitely now would not be the right time to go. This one might be promising. Nope. Kit. Walk. Oh my god. How did that work? For real, how did that work? I know, turn that run off. I'm gonna need it for the end. <laughs> In the winter course, you could pretty much do the whole thing by walking, because they had such like they had such easy safe spots. Or undetectable zones, if you will. So um yeah, that's uh, worth noting. I keep saying worth noting. Oh, whatever. Who cares? Okay. Let's do a little run and... Oh my god, did we make that? Oh my god, did we really make that? Oh my goodness. Right, let's do another little walk strat right about now. There's no shot she should catch me. Well, now that I know that this is a safe spot, life becomes so much more simpler. Easier, simpler? Simplistic. Simplicity. Can she catch me? 
probably. <gasps> oh! <laughs> what was that? Alright, we should go right about now. Make it, make it, make it. Right in, baby, right in. That's what's up. And once we're done, squirk it up. Squirk it up! Drink from this fucking fountain and get the hell out of here. Let's go back to Osman. I think we're gonna get like. I doubt we're gonna get a level unless they give us. Unless he gives us like 1,000 per uh. this squirk juice. Which the first one he gives like 320 or something like that. Maybe 375. Can you stop? Like, I hate. I fucking hate when your character is running and then they just run back like two squares and then run forward. It's like, what are you doing? That's not where the arrow is, you dumbass. Right, so let's talk to Osmond again. Let's drink the squirt juice right in front of his face. No, <laughs> that's stupid. You get run energy back, which I probably mentioned already, but it's fucking annoying. I'd love to talk about squirks. All right, come on, get to 30. Oh, baby, 130. Wow, 1,350. That's actually not bad for that squirt juice. That's a big step up. It's pretty much 1,000 more experience per. So we just got 10 thieving levels within a few minutes. Well, actually, it was a long time, but what can we do now? We can steal from Wari. What kind of stalls? Oh! Oh my god, this is perfect. I can now... Wait, no, it's chest. It's a chest. Um, I can now steal uh, nature runes from upstairs in Ar Ardune. And I'm going to be doing that probably for a little while to get some more... Uh, um, what are they called again? What are they called again? Da -da 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 -da. Alks. Alks, more Alks. So I'm probably going to be doing that. I didn't really train any cooking recently because I was just like, I was bored out of my skull and didn't want to do anything. But yeah. Did a little mining and smithing. But other than that, guys, I'm done with this snippet. So I will see you next time for more. Mm. Hey! Hey guys, we're in Port Serum, and I just wanted to show you something that I've been doing for quite some time. So, if you talk to the squire on the docks and you go to his outpost, he will gladly take you there. It is the farthest place away on the port, all the way down here. Good sailing theme right here. Alright, so anyway, you come over here, you exit the dock, and you come down here. I'm in, well not anymore, IEMZ. I'm in this clan chat. And this is like the pest control clan chat, essentially. But just give me one second, guys. I need to do something real quick. Okay. Um, I totally forgot about this, that I had to do something first. So this is pest control. This is a mini game, in which case you can, uh, you know, if you win rounds, you get money, which you see here. And just, just exchange. You get money, and you get these points. Now, the maximum you can get at one time is 250. You can spend it on some experience, but it's, it's just, it's totally not worth it. Because, I mean, even if you spent 100 points, you're only getting 10,000 experience. But, I mean, if you, if you save up 250, I guess it wouldn't be bad. But, no. No, 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 no. Need higher levels. What does this mean? This is the whole point of this thing. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need to th see something right quick. Is that even a thing? No, it's not. What level do you need for void? What the fuck? Hold on. Let me ask these people. What level do you need for void? Please, God, someone answer me. That was shit. That was my whole plan. If it's like 50 defense, and that's not going to be too bad, but... That's not what I asked, you asshole. What level do you need to wear void? Please, someone let me know. I mean, I could look it up, but... I really don't want to. Some... Nice person. 40. I have 40 defense. Are you kidding me, game? I have 44 and it won't let me buy it. Alright, this is weird. I seriously thought that this was 
Wait, what the fuck? That's... that's fucked up. Um... Hold on. What levels do you need to wear void? Does everything have to be like 40? Because if so, then I'm just going to be buying my fucking range exp I See, I don't want to do that though, because that's 250 points down the drain, so... I might train... Jamaica tank, please tell me, man. I need to know, brother. Let me see that again, just to fucking make sure. I can understand, you know, you need... What? What do you mean? 42 all combat skills. Oh, my God. Well, I mean... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to train up my ranged a little bit to 42, and then I'm going to come back and buy these things. This isn't going to be in this video, this is just showing you what I've been doing. But as you can see, I have 250 points, and if I can get in this game really quick, I can try and maybe show you a game. It's going to tell me that I don't have, um, misunderstand, I will not get points, but I don't care. I just want to show what a game looks like. So without further ado... Let's just wait for a minute. You get you get money too, which I've mentioned. So, in getting 250 points, I've actually got 71k, which is actually not bad. That's really not bad. The games go by pretty smoothly if you have some higher levels here, which looks like we do. We got a level 91. And that's not bad at all. But we got some little 70 dice, you know. I'm really pissed about that. But I'm really glad that I got the rest of these up to 42, so... It's not so bad, because range is fairly simple to train. But I, I still just don't want to do it. Alright, can we go, please? Uh, priority. <laughs> Alright, good. Here we go. Now, what you need to do... Music? Um, no? Here we go. You need to defend this guy by killing various things. Now, as you can see up here, there are some portals that summon these type of monsters, and I'm going to go show them right now. He just shouted, the blue eastern portal has fallen, so you need to go to the east and do that. But I'm not going to do that, because what you need to do is build up these... I'm calling them sword points, that's what I've been calling them at least. Alright, can you right-click please? Attack the spinner! I'm going to turn on my prayers too. Say your prayers! But anyway, you need to get at least 50 to qualify to get some points. Although it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be getting any points from this. But there's some different monsters. There's a Defiler, the Spinners, uh, that's, that's a Splatter, this blue thing's a Brawler, and you might be able to see... Right, can we go up, please? Alright, here we go. Run across, run across. On the way over, we should be able to see another type of monster. It's called... Yeah, that little flying thing, that's a torture. That's a major. The defilers, the ranger, the brawlers are meleeers, and splatters actually destroy barricades and stuff like that. But also, this portal right here, oh, that's a spinner. Spinners, what spinners do is they heal the portal. So you want to take care of them first, and then the portals. Like, we're sucking fuck right now, because we're not getting anything done. Normally, one of these should be dead before we even, like, try... As you can see, my range, or my range, wow. My prayer's about to run out, but it doesn't really matter. Whoa, that's a lot of tortures. Like I said, you want to kill the spinners first, because they will actually heal the portal back up. Now, that blue one's almost dead. And when a portal dies, the Void Knight, this is his HP up here, he will actually gain, I think, like... I want to say 30 or 60. I can't, I cannot remember what it is, but please kill that blue portal, guys. Come on. Did I just die? Nope, I'm at 25 LP, baby. Alright, he's going down. I'm going to try and help him out over here, because this this is not working. They're not doing something right. They're probably not killing the, uh... Spin what are you doing?! Fuck over here, you idiot. Alright, let's attack the portal. Come on, come on! All on port, all on port. Gotta watch out for any spinners that show up, because they'll ruin your fun. Yeah, we lost this round. Let's 
try that again. Ugh. You know what? Since I can't even gain any points, that was pretty much the gist of what you had to do. That team was really subpar, and I am very actually frustrated about that. But anyway, I will see you guys next time for more RuneScape, because that's about it for this episode. So take care, I'll see you then, and maybe I'll have a full void set like this guy over here.